Right then, boys and girls, the Cortina. Uh, those more observant would have already worked out it's an S. But what you might not have already worked out is... Wait for it, drum roll. I'll get my fingers in the right bit. Look at that. Now you count how many cylinders are on that one. Well, there's three on that side and there's three on that side. And I haven't got my shoe on, socks off, but I reckon that's six. So we've got a 2.3 S Cortina. Now, how rare is that? I mean, a two litre is rare enough. There we go, can we get that one there? There we go. Jack would have taken some photographs of that anyway. Yeah, a two litre is rare enough, isn't it? A two litre would be lovely to come on board. Look at the standard of that. But a 2.3, I had a, uh, a brief discussion with the, uh, with the owner when he dropped the car off. Pretty sure he said one of only two or three that are known. Um, there's always that extra one, isn't there, hiding around somewhere that no one knows about. There always is, you know. You can't expect the clubs just to, um, to know the whereabouts of every single, you know, make and model of thing. Uh, there's always one lurking about. But I think we can certainly uh, say with all confidence that it's an extremely rare car. So, there you go. I shall have a little wander around with you. But yeah, a manual, obviously. Yes, let's have a quick look in the boot while we're here. Should maybe just take you down the door shuts in there. Look at that. They're all nice, aren't they? Wings there, look. What an unusual car. Do you know what? It's as rare a car as any in the Ford range, I would suggest. You know, it's arguably rarer than the Harrier in the Mark II world, isn't it? Very unusual car. As far as that boot mat goes, obviously that's not out of the Cortina. Send a template to Woolies and they will send you back a carpet nicely bound in and woven in there at a very, very reasonable cost. And that will just finish that off in there nicely, wouldn't it? But a very good standard. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, certainly worth traveling to view that one. Just make sure I've got the keys out of the boot before I shut it. Yep, I have. And have a look underneath here. Look at that. The sort of finish that you would expect to see on a sort of 50,000, look in the wheel arch, 50,000 pound RS2000 finish, isn't it? Look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Now, I don't know whether the lads actually disconnected the battery. They should have done, but they may not have done because I've been trying to get... No, they haven't. I've been trying to get around to doing this video for the, the whole day. A bit of choke wouldn't hurt, I don't suppose, to be fair. There you go. Manual choke conversion, better still. That's quiet, guys. That is very, very quiet. Isn't that nice? Not a lot wrong with that, guys. What a lovely car. I think well worth traveling to view. In and good time here for our next sale. Please come down and have a look, see what you think. I don't feel for a moment I'll be wasting your time. Thank you.